Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my garden. In today's video, I want to continue the beautiful spring planting because I got so inspired by all these amazing spring pots that I did in one of my previous videos with you. So just in case, if you missed out on that video, I'm going to give you the link down below here so you can just click on it. And if you want to see more, just go to my history because there you'll find all different kind of garden videos throughout the entire season. So I hope that you are excited about that. The area that I want to focus on today is a little bit of a neglected area of the garden and the question is is it actually still the garden it is in between the gateway and how we enter the driveway and the street there is a narrow strip and there's still some driveway so it's still big enough that we can park a car there but it's kind of neglected and everybody who follows my channel already for quite a while you might remember that more than a year ago I actually defined a small area as a flower bed I planted one rhododendron together with you some asters and nothing happened ever after and it's such a shame because whenever you come back home you want to be welcomed by something nice and cheerful that brings joy and just a smile to your face and this is why I always focus on all these pot arrangements here and now I want to echo the same storyline just at the main entrance to our property. So first time I ever really do a planting video there. In terms of color, I like when the garden is cohesive and when areas are tied together. So I see the main entrance of the house, the front garden, and also now this new area, like the gateway, kind of like as one area. Here I sometimes keep it flexible, but um, in terms of color, I will use the same kind of color scheme that I was using here. So I use colors like sulfur yellow, lemon yellow, I use all shades of blue and a little bit of white eventually, not today though. So you will see some of those plants that I used here, for example, as these beautiful pansies, because I love them so much, I was like, I'm gonna have to have more and use them there again. So how I wanna structure today's video is, first of all, I wanna tour you around and show you that particular area of the garden. Then I wanna focus and show you those plants that I came across. Some are the same as here, but I also found some really fun, nice new things so I hope that you are excited about those as well. Then I want to focus on some planting and hopefully towards the end of the video I can show you a really nice before and after. So I hope that you are excited to join me in my garden today again. I'm standing on the driveway right now with you and this is the gate, the main gate entrance to our property. Alfie is with me, already some plants are there. So Alfie is enjoying the sun which just came out. Are you? Is it beautiful? Yes? All right. You're not going to go outside with me because there is a road, which means I'm really sorry throughout the video you might see and hear some cars and I hope that this won't be too disturbing for you. But this is the area that I want to focus on in today's video. Let me close the gate so Alfie doesn't follow me. That is this tiny bit of a flower bed that I did together with you more than a year ago actually. The rhododendron that we planted is thriving very happily here. So it is beautiful. There's a car. Then some of those asters. This is Aster Astron, which might need a little bit of a size control because it is definitely growing vigorous. And what I did is the other day I drove to the garden center. I found some wallflowers and I thought, oh, they're pretty. I need to have them. Didn't quite know where to put them. And in the end, I thought, just put them in here. And then it all started to look really nice and cute. I have one pansy left over from a previous video. So I just planted all of these things and thought, you know what, this looks so nice, so fun, so cheerful. I'm going to make an entire planting video out of it. What else is in here? There is still a grass that came from another potting arrangement and it uh, survived winter. So it's very vigorous and pretty. Green and white stripes, a really nice variegation. I've got some sedum in here. And then if we just swing around and look at the other side, there is just, well, there's my shadow right now, so this is difficult, but there is another narrow strip, so I can't put too many plants in there. There are already two phlox plants in here. I think they're like purple white, if I'm not wrong. There are two lavender that survived. Lavender is one plant that I really struggle with just because of the climate conditions here, mainly throughout winter time, but it's all right. You don't need to have Mediterranean plants when you garden at the Baltic Sea. Then there is some perennial grass and this unfortunately produces runners and that grows everywhere. So what I will do is I'm basically going to come in with my spade and make this area a little bit bigger, remove all of this grass and then I come in with this plastic barrier that you put into the ground and make sure that those perennial grass weeds, they can't send the runners into your border so you don't have to weed over and over again. So this is the area that I want to focus on today and now let me show you the plants. These are the plants that I found in the garden centers. And as I already told you in the beginning of the video, 
I'm gonna have similar colors or same colors to what I did in my previous pot arranging video, but some different plants. So I have three more wallflowers and they come with a label and a name. So it's always happy when I can give you a variety name. This is called Bold's Mauve. Well, mauve, I'm not so sure. It is a beautiful color though. It's something in between blue, pink, is really panning on the light situation, but quite stunning. The plants look very vigorous and healthy and they have a lot and a lot of flower buds coming throughout the entire plants. So I'm gonna have another nice clump of these. Then I have some violas, exactly the same ones that I was using in my potting video because I really love the color and I told you before I love when one plant ties all the colors back together. So there's a little bit of mauve, bluish, yellow, white, everything what I wanna have in this area in one flower. So this is always really nice. Then I have the exact same kind of pansies that I also used in the potting video. Really beautiful, like a lemon yellow. And now when the sun is out, they're really glowing, but they're also very happy on an overcast day. So they were just the perfect purchase. And then matching, I always love to use when you have a plum that brings some sort of foliage interest. So I've got some Eucharist here in a really wonderful lime chartreuse color, matching obviously these pansies, but also really nice in combination with tones of blue, as you can see in the back. And speaking of blue, I've got something exciting, which I never had in my garden, even though I love them. Scabiosa, I think they're called pincushion flower, if I'm not wrong with the common name. Again, a really cute, nice color, lavender, bluish, a lot and a lot of flower buds. So I've got eight of these, and I hope that they will thrive throughout the entire season, throughout summer even. So let's see, but this is what I have. The first thing that I'm going to do is focus on removing the perennial grass weed now in the area, get in this barrier, distribute the plants, and then plant everything. For the planting, I'll take a quick moment to show you how I do it and then everything goes into the ground. I want to plant at least the last viola together with you. I think you could see pretty well what I did to this area. So I really came in and tried to remove all of those grass roots and as many of them as possible because 
every tiny bit of that grass root that stays in here is definitely going to root in. So even after I water it in next week and two weeks, I'm always going to have a look. And whenever I see like a single grass root appearing, I come in with my shovel and quickly just get it up because if it stays in there, it's going to spread and then the whole drama starts again. But then I put this like plastic barrier in here. So I think it should be pretty all right. And then I really came in with a lot of good fresh garden soil, a lot of organic bone chips, dug it all under. So the lovely thing of planting now is that the soil is very nice and lofty. So I don't have to do a lot. So I can just come in with my hand. There was a car. So I can come in now with my hand, make a hole, just some more sprinkles of organic bone chips and then just gently tip the plant out of its container. It has a really nice root system. I always plant at that level and when I plant it, I firm it in well to make sure that those roots have really good root contact and then I mulch everything because the mulch prevents weeds from flying in and it also makes sure after I water it that the moisture stays here in the ground I'm happy. I'm going to give you a final look at everything now, but I think this was really, it's really noisy in my back, but I think that this is really just like a lovely outcome and it just makes me really happy. Just like while I was working here, I could already see what an improvement it is and now coming back every day that it's just filled with joy in this entire area. What a difference to how it was two hours ago. What a couple plants can make a difference. Isn't it just beautiful? Now both sides, I'm really gonna give you a quick closer look at the entire situation. And I think you can really tell on why I love to use these kind of chartreuse or lemon yellow kind of tones, because even now in the shade, they really brighten up everything. And what works so well is that the arborvitaeus hedge is somehow yellowish in the backdrop. So it kind of echoes in the planting again. The Eucara, I think once they get established, they're gonna look really fantastic. Also in combination with the violas, they're still very small now, but I know that they going to grow very fast now with the temperatures rising. So I think that this is really lovely color combination. You also see that it's definitely worth investing in some plants that have already established and that are a little bigger because then you instantly have a little bit of drama in your planting. Here I love those pansies. I really love them in the pots at the front door. So I needed to have the last bit of them that I could find in the garden center. Some scabiosa here. And then on the other side, the, it echoes just the same planting basically, but definitely worth extending the size of this flower bed just a little bit. I mean, it's not a huge bed, but it just, enough space where I can seasonally change the flowers and always put something that is really nice and cheerful and just makes you happy. You guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had fun spending some time with me in the garden again. One last thing that I want to mention because I was asked it last year is why I plant pansies and viola so late in the springtime or in the year. And the reason for it is quite simple because here I am in a zone 7b and at the south coast of the Baltic Sea with my little dog Alfie who comes now to pay a little visit. She also wants to say bye bye to you apparently. but. Here, it always takes quite a while for summer to get established. Like normally when we have the real first hot days during the night, it still cools down, which means that these pansies here, they can recuperate during the night and then the next day they look fresh again. So it honestly is worth spending some money for me at this time of the year still to pot them or put them in the landscape because you will see these plants here up until June, probably even into July, depending on the weather situation. And only then I will come and change them into something more summery. But I can just say thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you. If you decide to subscribe to my channel, thank you. If you give me a thumbs up, as I said in the beginning, if you want to see more from my garden, just scroll through my history because there are a couple of different videos that I already shared here on YouTube. And if you want to get more inspiration from my garden, the link to my Instagram is also down below this video here. So I would love to welcome you or we would love to welcome you next time around in the garden. So take care, guys. Bye. Mm. Yeah. <gasps>